What is it about your hobby that keeps you coming all the way out here? Is it the freedom? Wandering in search of that perfect spot. You've made your own path through these hills. Tasted the fresh water of our lakes, our rivers. You've been on the water with friends at sunrise and helped the locals long past sunset. But you just keep coming back. At this spot, you got a pretty good idea what's lurking beneath the surface. But there's only one way to find out. Whether it's the one you write home about or the one that gets away, that feeling is what gets you up. That whether it's your first time or your hundredth time, you never know what you're gonna catch until it's caught. Call of the Wild, the Angler. Hey guys, this is DT Gaming. So, we're gonna uh, play Call of the Wild at Angler as you've seen. Uh, so, if you guys know that a new map was released just recently, um, Norway. However, we're not gonna do Norway right away because we're going to get into the main game as first time playing on my main account. I'll explain why here in a minute. I'm Clayton David Johnson, and I would say this here is my part. But from this day forward, well, that ain't quite true. As far as the eye can see, stream to sky, grove to gully, this ain't mine no longer. It's ours. Ours to explore, ours to cherish, and most importantly, ours to take responsibility for. Because if we don't, uh, not a soul will. Take your time to drink it in and get used to life here. The hot springs or mountain lake are great goals. But you call the shots, go where you'd like. Your equipment will take more than a little mastery. But if it's easy, it ain't worth doing. And you'll thank your lucky stars you did in the end. It's true that sweet mother nature offered up this bountiful providence. But over the years, man has spat on it, ground it underfoot, siphoned off her plenty for ruin. It's been the job of us Johnsons to keep it together since 1872. Trust me, it ain't easy. Hell, I'm not even sure it's possible. But it's well worth it. What we have today is beautiful beyond compare. It's due to the collective efforts of every guest that I can welcome you. Golden Ridge Reserve.
Alright, so let's make our character here. So body type B is female and body type A is male. But um that looks like breast to me. <laughs> Yeah, that, that should be changed uh, just a little bit. So, no accessories. Gloves, hair. Oh, if the hat was in the way, I could check. Oh, there's bald. And only one style of hair and just several colors. We'll go without the hat because there's some weird thing going on right there. See how the uh, lighting shows? The lights are a crack right there, but there's no crack there. So, no hat. Pop. Yes, we both that. Alright, uh, escape. We'll Confirm. Sophia Taylor from Taylor's Tackles here, and I hear you're in need of a little fishing refresher. Well, let me tell you, you've come to the right place. Although, another right place to go would be Taylor's Tackles, right down at the central outpost. Can't miss it. Welcome to Golden Ridge Reserve. To ease you in, You'll be presented with some short explanations and instructions. These instructions will cover the controls and how to catch your first few fish. Now, first things first, let's get you in position. Step up to the pier if you please. There's a motion blur. I don't like it. See what we have here. Poly light exposure, so fine. Detail. I'm just messing around with some stuff here. I see you brought your own rod. Can't get anywhere if you don't take it out, so you do the honors. So, let's start off with a simple cast. Keep those shoulders and hips square for me. Reel it in. Take your time. Get used to it. Feels fantastic, right? Well, I'd like to see you do a few more. Let's say, two?
we're fishing for real. I'd like to see a nice, clean cast. Strike as soon as she bites and reel her in when she's tired. Still, we don't see the float. Yeah, that cast too far. I think I see a fish right down there. I even a pound the thing thing had some tension on it. Congratulations! She's a beauty. The fish here aren't yours to keep, so even if you love her, you gotta let her go. I do like a short cast, not too much. There's a tension indicator, it displays how much tension is on your line relative to the maximum tension it can withstand. The more that the indicator fills up, the more tension is on the line. If the tension becomes too high, you risk snapping your line. Keeping tension in the line will ensure the fish can't escape easily and tire the fish out. Tension will be high when a fish is fighting and decrease when it gets tired. Keep the tension high by moving your rod up and away from the fish when it is fighting or by reeling in when it gets tired. I see a little fish right there coming. Look like another bass. Golden Ridge Reserve. What's in the name, huh? 
Well, this one dates all the way back to the late 18th century. French trappers named the park Crête d'Or. Okay, so I like to talk to you guys about them. <clears throat> now, I bought this game when the game first came out. Um, the reason why I didn't play it, because I kind of got in a little bit of an argument with some random person on Discord, and they were disliking the game and stuff, and I was giving a suggestion and how to improve the game at the time. Like the water quality. Um, that. And this guy was on and on and then which led me to getting banned because I was supposedly been talking negative about the game. And then not only I got banned from Discord, I got banned from Steam. Um, so with that was done to me, I lost interest in the game, and I was really upset that I got banned. You know, I wanted to play the game, but I was so upset being in fact being banned, I didn't bother the game. So, technically this is almost my first time playing the game since being banned. This right here is my pride and joy. The Central Reserve Outpost. This ain't just any outpost. You'll find all the bells and whistles here, like Taylor's Tackles, a brand new shop run by my friend Sophia. Other than that, you'll be able to find notice boards, storage lockers, a boathouse, and a garage for easy access to transportation, plus a flagpole for yourself. So, we're gonna enjoy the game. Um, as it is, I right from the start, we'll uh, basically grow into the game, and then once we're done with the Golden Ridge Reserve, we'll head on to Norway. I know that you guys probably want to see Norway right now, um, but we'll get there eventually, I promise. Right now, we just want to enjoy the game and all its glory, because this, this map is really beautiful from what I've seen on the trailer. And a little cutscene of Golden Ridge. Nice to put a fish to a face. While you're here, can I interest you in a bargain? Okay, so. Oh, I'm gonna, I forgot what I'm gonna say now. Oh yeah, uh, some people were talking how this game reminds them of it being an arcade type game, and I, I agree, it's kind of arcadey. But there isn't a day I don't wake up and thank my lucky stars I'm here. But this game has its unique features, and it, to be honest, see this map. And stuff is um, what brings what makes this game unique. How about some bread? It's on the house. get far if you don't put your bait on your rod so give it a go get with your rod equipped press LB It's a little different than Seattle, but boy, is it beautiful. Go to the jetty.
back here. Goodbye for now. Drag is a function of your reel that determines how much power a fish needs to use to take line from the reel. The higher you set your drag, the more energy a fish needs to spend to take line. Stronger reels produce more drag. Change your drag by equipping your rod using Y and then using the, the right and left directional buttons. The higher drag will increase tension and tire the fish faster, or even prevent it from taking line, but might also put your line at risk of snapping. A lower drag will let the fish take more line, and 0% drag won't allow you to reel the fish. Try setting your drag higher. Give setting your drag lower a go. This zoom feature is nice. Look at a little bass head into it. Pumping is the act of lifting your rod to pull a fish closer to you and really in the slack line created as you lower it back down. Keeping your rod opposed to the fish's swimming direction is a good way to tire out the fish faster, but wait with reeling until the fish has stopped fighting unless the drag is holding it in place. All right. Now let's try catching a fish with what you know about drag. Try not to let the fish gain too much line by keeping your tension high when you need to. Okay, so we're gonna go see the warden now.
Why is this one lit up though? Lovely afternoon for a fish, or perhaps a purchase. I have no idea what's up there. You know where I am? Well, well, I take it you got my message. Welcome to the reserve, buckaroo. Expectation is gained by completing shopkeeper missions and warden favors. Help Clayton preserve the reserve by reporting objects of interest you find while fishing and traveling. Report any instance of evasive plant species, diseases, infested I trees, to stay at work or too. terrorists. I got sweet Lucy. Chorus. Attraction Sometimes it fine. feels like I come first up, Buckaroo. Here's your bread. Oxide daisies are the thorn in the side of sweet mother nature. Pale, mangy weeds. Can't miss them if you wanted to. Now for the butter. Engelman spruce beetle infestations. Horrible little creepy crawlies that'll rip a forest apart in a flash. And finally, bread and butter ain't squat to a big sizzling hunk of meat. Personally, I reckon bones are useless without tasty flesh attached. But them tourists love a crusty stegosaurus. So keep a lookout. Don't go out of your way, but if you're fishing and you spot one, let me know. They yeah, visit the water mill. Enjoy your morning, buckaroo. I'll be right here with the bargains. No way to actually turn that off. The voyage. Let's check the map real quick. We're right here. That's the sawmill. Where the hell is the water mill at? Okay, right here. Alright, so we can place way markers. We want to make a turn right here.
How the heck did I miss the road? This ain't the same kind of corpulent blood guzzler you use for bait, though. This parasite slurps away the very ground you stand on. Unlike its just as evil twin, the sawmill, this piece of work is allowed to keep working, which makes its work that much worse. I just hope this thing stops spinning before the world does. If I'm around to see it, all the better. All right, ghost town next. It okay, looks like we gotta turn around. I think this is where we gotta go right here. Oh, that's the hot spring. Okay, this is the ghost town. Okay, so I guess we just stay in this road.
How can the markers in that swim up on the map? Well, not on the map, but I mean... Showing up on the... Like, it shows the uh, waypoints and stuff with Sophie and the uh, Warden. But I'm not seeing it on the... on here. XP is awarded for activities such as catching fish, discovering locations, and finding items. As you gain XP, you will also be given credits that can be used for, to purchase equipment, clothing, and more from the shop. Earn enough XP and you will level up, granting you an additional bonus of credit. of my tears. One more of man's attempts to siphon away nature's bounty at a heavy cost. This railway here carried a precious cargo out of the park to be refined and sold for corn. However, it got shut down when the powers that be did the right thing for once. After the mining industry was ixnayed here at the park, we had no more need for a choo-choo or two. But now they're gone to join the rest of the metal they hauled out of here.
canyons you could park a plane in means you're far out in the Ruby River Range. While you're there, drop by the outpost. Much like any other outpost, you'll be able to find notice boards, storage lockers, a boathouse, and a garage for easy access to transportation. I visit the ghost town already. Let's see something here. Okay, seeing this is not showing me where to go. I'm just gonna do this and replace the wave mark. Actually, correct. Is that why I missed it? Ah, so I did. now but the powers of be didn't always see the value in protecting a place like Golden Ridge instead getting carried along in the gold rush that washed the reserve down the drain it's hard to say how much damage the toxic metal and acid runoff did to the park I'm relieved to say that those who could put their foot down before the Elks bears and whatever Johnson was around got ran out of house and home now the town rots where it stands and the gold stays where it should. Visit the Silver Strand Metal. The 
This is silver mines. Why the way over here? Now, I know that's probably kind of like cheating, but I'm going to do it anyways, because I have... Want to camp fast travel? Should have went in the order, really. Take this one out, this one's different. We want to turn around and go this way. Work right here. So we just stay on this road and we should act to get there. How did I hit? This theory is kind of janky on the controller.
Stoded right in the center of the towering alpine peaks is our Silver Strand Meadows outpost, offering shelter to travelers from the mountain trail. Much like any other outpost, you'll be able to find notice boards, storage lockers, a boathouse, and a garage for easy access to transportation, as well as a flagpole for yourself. Okay, so the next one is the Silver Mines. Which will be right here. So it's fast travel there.
Around these parts, you can see scars in the land, left behind by the bandits of Prosperity's Spring. This one here is a shaft stabbed deep in the soil by some suckers, scrabbling to make two cents to rub together, thinking they can go home to their families with a smile and a, a pocket full of silver looted from the land. Well, I can hardly blame them. Any poor soul would stay poor after being sold that sham. You see, people don't make money. They just move it around. And although no end of it was get moved out of Golden Ridge, it's the ones that already had the money that came out rich. There ain't any silver or gold in this hole no more. And there sure as hell ain't no dreams. Only ghosts now. And this pit is a grave. Here lies the American dream. Lived on the back of the land and those too poor to know you. Rest in peace. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, if you guys liked the video, please hit that like button. I do appreciate it. And thank you all for watching. Uh, bye.